Nepal and Norway have cooperated for many years. It started as people-to-people -people cooperation at grassroots level. Nepal is a partner country for Norway, which means that um, Nepal is a priority country for our development cooperation. And our annual assistance to Nepal amounts to approximately 30 million US dollars annually. Our main focus uh, for uh, cooperation uh, that uh, is education, renewable energy and good governance. And these are our main sectors and these are in line with the priorities of the government of Nepal. And of course gender equality and climate change are always on top of our agenda. So those are cross-cutting issues that we always have to take into account. Uh, in everything we do. I would like to commend Nepal for the significant progress uh, when it comes to access to education. Almost all children in Nepal go to school and I think that is something to be really proud of. Nepal has a huge potential for hydropower and back home in Norway hydropower has been a driver for industrialization and economic growth and I hope that hydropower for Nepal uh, will also be a driver for economic growth and job creation. And of course Nepal is a country uh, which is very vulnerable to climate change, the effects of climate change, and renewable and clean energy uh, is a crucial part of the solution. I would say that we still support marginalized communities. We do this through Norwegian NGOs. Many Norwegian NGOs partner with Nepali NGOs. Uh, we do this through the support um, uh, to the United Nations, the, the United Nations here in, uh, in Nepal, uh, with this common goal of leaving no one behind. Um, inclusive education, I mean we support the education sector here, inclusive education is particularly important for children from marginalized communities. So I would say that the marginalized communities are very much the target group for our cooperation with Nepal. Nepal is moving in the right direction. Consider the considerable progress in the peace process, uh, Nepal's uh, progressive constitutions, and um, this year, uh, the, the elections in May and November, uh, overall peaceful and orderly elections, and I would say uh, those are milestones for democracy in Nepal. And uh, if everything goes according to plan, uh, Nepal will graduate from the group of least developed countries in 2026 and then become a middle income country. So I would definitely say that there is progress and Nepal is moving in the right direction. Norway is not the federal state, uh, but a lot of power is decentralized to the local governments, the local level. And um, if uh, federalism is to succeed in Nepal, uh, it's important that local and provincial governments are able to deliver good services to the people. And I think that if you uh, visit the Norway, the visit municipalities in Norway, you would find a lot of similarities uh, between uh, when you look at the tasks and responsibilities of local governments in Norway and in Nepal. Although we have uh, some of our municipalities are very small. Uh, for instance, the, we have a municipality called Utsira and they have only 188 inhabitants. And I don't think you have any municipalities in Nepal with so few inhabitants. Um, and uh, we will we continue to cooperate when it comes to uh, good governance. Uh, and the aim is, of course, to make governance systems effective and efficient. I believe that it's also important for parliaments to engage with citizens. And um, so there should be there should be openness and, and transparency. Uh, parliaments, of course, are very important as uh, democratically elected um, assemblies, and they represent the people. And in Norway, uh, there's a lot of transparency uh, and openness in our parliament. Uh, we have journalists in parliament; they can go there every day if they want to. 
um, they can move freely around. Uh, we have always TV cameras when there are uh, parliamentary debates and we also have a, a gallery for the general public if they would like to sit down and, and follow the debates in parliament because we value openness and transparency. Uh, Norway is cooperating with the parliament uh, in Nepal. We, we support, um, we have a project with UNDP called the Parliamentary Support Project. Uh, I believe that uh, transparency and good governance are important foundations for uh, development and also um, strong institutions prevent individuals from uh, abusing power for their own gain. Uh, and that is uh, why Norway is one of the donors to the provincial and local governance support program. That is about capacity building and, and building stronger institutions. Norway's ambition is to continue to be a leader in climate finance. And we supported the establishment of the Fund for Loss and Damage at COP27. We see this as a very important outcome of COP27 although there are still some modalities which will have to be worked out. Uh, from the Norwegian perspective, um, it should be a common responsibility, a global responsibility, to support those countries which have contributed themselves very little to climate change, but they face the harsh realities. That should be a global responsibility.